Hello. Yo. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Pretty good. How about you? I'm chilling. I'm having an okay day so far, but uh, nice. I'm excited to get through this lesson and kind of see what's up and figure out what I can do to help you out. So. Yeah. Do you want to, maybe, is there a way to like move a little closer to your mic or anything like that? Uh, there we go. Is that better? Yeah, that's much better. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, all right. So what's, what is the issue today? What are we looking at? So I had a couple of matchups, um, Falcon <clears throat> and Sheik, that I wanted to take a look at some games. And then I also have a list of just questions that I wrote down that I wanted to ask. Um, mm -hmm. We don't have to get through all of everything, but um, I don't really know what order would, would be best. I mean, we can do it in any order you want, so uh, just let me know. Like, I just pulled up the first slippy file, but we can start on anything you want. We can, yeah. we can just, it's pretty much your hour, so just how do you, we can spend it however um, you want go start looking at the games first and then maybe some of the questions will be answered anyways and then and then I'll ask at the end if there's anything that wasn't covered okay all right uh screen share working we're good for the falcon the falcon yeah. one? okay all right let's see what we got here okay I mean, definitely the error here was just this shield, this dash shield. Like, this laser was totally fine. Um, he can't hit you out of this. Yeah. Um, I, I do think, I don't know, you have to kind of watch out, because a lot of times they like to do this nair, and they drift into where you are. So you have to be a little careful with this laser. But uh, after shooting the laser and he goes up here, you know, there's no reason not to just, like, roll or get out of the way. Shield yeah. dashing and then shielding here just puts you in this really negative position. I feel like I couldn't tell if he was going to land on the platform or, like, go into me with the nair because of the, the go, I guess. <laughs> mm hmm Well, you shielded, like, after, though. Like, you didn't shield you didn't shield his nair at all. You shielded, like, yeah. here. <laughs> so. Okay. I, I really, I think I would like if you established laser control a little bit better here. Like, you hit that one. Like, moving in here is okay uh, with the high laser. He doesn't really have too many options to deal with it. I see. I guess you, you didn't really play it that badly. You just kind of messed up the CC shine here. I guess you could have up-tilted. Something about the lasers here feels slightly awkward. But when I slow it down, I'm like, eh, it's kind of acceptable. So, well look for another spot um so this is also why i'm like very pro laser camping against falcon at low percent is like falco is garbage at zero like we all know that like falco is a horrible character at like less than 10 percent and on falcon it's low-key like less than 15 percent falco is kind of a bad character um unless you land like yeah. a unless you land like a shine so, like, when you get this down air, you're just not... Like, he literally has a frame advantage here, because you hit him out of the air. Like, you're not ever going to get this shine here, and especially not, like, a wave dash in. Um, there's a few things you can do, like, just down air, and I like kind of down air, dash back, dash in. A lot of times they'll just do a grab, assuming that you kind of press towards them and you get a good setup here. Um, you can also do stuff like shine grab... I guess, yeah. or like Shine Full Hop. Shine Full Hop is good, because if the Shine hits his shield, he can't shield grab the Full Hop. So yeah. that, that's kind of nice. <clears throat> so, these back airs, I talk a lot about these back airs to several Falcos, is that like, they it, it feels like you're like protecting yourself, but like, this back air is just super preemptive, 
And there's no reason to do preemptive actions against a character that you can, like, react to. Like, he can, like, if he jumps in and nares, you can actually back air, like, if you're moving away from him and he does this big nair, a lot of times you can just react and back air it. And so, like, basically you're going for a move that... It's not ever going to get you a combo. And it does put you at risk of dying. So it's just a bad decision. Because, look, he actually does exactly what you kind of wanted him to do in a second. Oh, no, it's, it's not. But, like, you hit this back air. Like, this back air is exactly, like, what you would have hit if you hit this one. Like, if you hit this back air, yeah. then this back air is the exact same thing. Because he doesn't ASDI down. And... It just doesn't ever get you anything, like ever. Like it's, it's just losing. But then now that you have a little bit of percent, like thirty, and you hit Falcon, you have like an hour to combo him, and then you get. Oh, I would have downed that. Like right here, if you just wait until the end of hit stun, you run off double jump down air, or like short hop double jump down air, free kill. You're dead here. So. I feel like I would be afraid of him just being able to jump to ledge before I can uh, do anything. As long as you hit, um, as long as you hit the the down air late in the hit stun, you should be fine. Because like, um, you know, like out of the shine, the earlier you hit the opponent, the less down air knockback they have because of like knockback stacking, unless you hit them like stupid fast. Yeah. Do you, do you know how you know how that works at all or vaguely like okay so basically they're, they're going upwards from the shine and that like subtracts from the downwardsness of the down air kind of yeah pretty much so basically the way to think about it is like after the shine if you hit someone with the down air within 10 frames which is it'll do full knockback which is yeah. why when you do like shine down air and the then... down air is so strong but yeah. then after those 10 frames, the down air is basically weaker because of the shine knockback. And the closer you get to the end of hit stun, the more the closer to like normal knockback the down air will have. Is that based on how many frames left of hit stun or is that just based on Yeah, it's based on the number of frames of, it's well it's based on the amount of remaining knockback which relates to the amount of remaining hit stun. Like the hit stun run the hit stun runs out when the knockback runs out, you know. Yeah, I I'm just thinking like when when you shine someone, usually they they kind of go up and then they dip down a little bit before the hit, hit stun ends. Yeah, yeah. Like, they they definitely do. That's just because um, that's just how the hit stun relates to it. Um, I don't know the exact formula that causes that specific yeah. little movement, but okay. So I just want to show you that if I put Falcon at um, probably should have just done Uncle Punch for this or something. Go faster, forty or forty five or something, and then I do. And then I do shine, and then I down air. See how he doesn't go very far? Yeah. And that's why you're talking about he can go to the ledge, right? Yeah. But if I do like this, and I do... He's just dead. Okay. So that's why that's so important. Yeah. Wow, that reset is that percent. So I show it one more time. I, so that's, I so, probably should pay more attention to that. And yeah, so if you, it, as long as, head, and, and if you yeah. hit him all the way at the end of the hit stun, like, he's gonna go super, super far. Like, uh, if I do like yeah, this, that makes sense. like, he's, he's just not gonna make it back, ever. Yeah, okay. So that's why that's super important. Let's get back to the VOD. But yeah, that is, like, something that's really, really relevant, especially against Falcon. But it's relevant against everybody, but like in those positions, it'll come up a lot. It actually comes up a lot against characters like Marth and stuff too. Marth, yeah. Where like you shine him around like 90 and he goes off stage. And if you just yeah. jump up and down air, you don't kill him. But if you jump up and down air him right as his hit stun ends, it's a guaranteed kill at like 90. I see. Okay, yeah. So that back air just doesn't have super good expected value. That's a kill. 
Okay, yeah. You just messed this up, right? You were trying to, like... Yeah. Okay. Because overall, this is a super correct combo, then. Mm. I actually go for the back air here. Rather than the nair. It, obviously, it doesn't really matter that much. But I like that uh, I don't have to worry about this drift mistake happening. Where I let go forward before the thing starts. Because I'm trying to, like, instant nair and stuff. The back air is just yeah. nice because I can use the C stick and it accomplishes pretty much the same thing. But yeah, yeah. just a personal thought. Good, good punish overall though. Okay, what happened here? I, your lasers definitely need to be higher. These are very. These lasers are too low. Okay. Because a lot of these lasers, the peak of Falcon's nair would go over them, and you yeah. really want you really want to avoid that. Okay, great down there. There. Yeah, that's the same spot with the back. Yeah. Cover. Yeah. Yeah, I messed it up. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I do like that you're going for like that general setup though. That's a good sign in terms of punish game. There. Hmm, I guess this is kind of ambiguous. I really. There are a lot of spots where if you just do a high laser, you can just prevent this entirely without needing to, like... Because, like, let's say he did this short hop, and then he does double jump over this back air, and then, like, drops and drops to the platform and up air knees you or something. It could just end really badly. But not not a bad back air, really. I just There's a lot of spots where high laser is really good, and I definitely feel like your high lasers are not correct. Like, your goal, if Falcon is standing, should basically be to hit him, like, right here. Like, yeah. pre pretty much just hit him on the head. <laughs> and, like, you can kind of aim as low as his shoulders. So you kind of have this range to hit the lasers. But if you sh start shooting lasers closer to, like, his uh, wrist height or whatever, he's going to start getting over it a lot more. Which is around where your lasers are. It's like, so watch are, are you aiming for, like... The lasers that are like slightly lower than the highest so that it still hits him or is it okay if they go over his head um so ideally you want it to uh hit his head and have the slightly lower version but if you like i my my lasers accidentally go over falcon's head all the time and it's usually fine because most of the time he he's not like he has to jump at some point to kind of like get things started or he's just gonna run across the stage and grab you and most falcons like when they see you shooting a laser aren't thinking i'm gonna run across the stage and grab them because they're usually gonna get hit by the laser you know so they can't really react to whether the yeah. laser is like gonna be too high or not and so it's most of the time pretty safe to shoot the extra high one whereas like the low one a lot of times they'll just be like naring or something and they'll kind of accidentally beat this. This is one of my favorite poses in the game, by the way, this frame. <laughs> I always crack up looking at that. Like, what has even happened with his joints? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a question about the high lasers. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the first part is like when you hit them with the high laser out of their jump, um, what is the kind of game plan after of like taking advantage of that mm -hmm. okay yeah there's a couple versus falcon so you can do so you're saying like they short hop or something and you hit them yeah either yeah. short hop or full hop and it just like hits them kind of coming down or yeah so a lot of times you'll, they'll like short hop you hit them at like the peak of their short hop or something with the laser you're there's a couple options that are good. One is running shine, like run under Falcon and then shine. I use that a lot. I think that's really good. Um, the other one is like nair, right? Like laser nair. Um, and then the other one is like, well, obviously you can hit laser up tilt also. Like laser up tilt is always really good when you're hitting like high, high lasers. So if you can manage to hit it high late, like approaching high laser up tilt or something on Falcon Aerial is like one of the best punishes. But it's not, 
A lot of times you don't hit Falcon with the approaching one. You hit him with like the stationary one, so the up tilt is like too far away yeah. to hit. And that's why I really, I really go for like either running shine. I go for nair. Um, sometimes I'll hit him and then I'll try to down air his landing. Um, also, a lot of times against, especially against better Falcons, they'll do like the nair or something, and then you go for the high laser, and then they double jump out of it. Yeah. And so what you want to do in that case. It depends kind of on the positioning, but your ideal case, and this is what Mango goes for every time, is he will just move back and shoot another laser. And this is my preferred option too. Like basically you reset the same situation as like the short hop, like when they short hop into high laser and you do something. So you have the nair, the weight into the down air, or the running shine, and you kind of just have those except now they don't have a double jump. So that's kind of the idea. Is like if they double jump, you can kind of just go for like the reset. So when you hit the first laser, it, are you like, as as a read that they're going to double jump, you kind of move back and try to set it up, or? Yeah, it's it's a little complicated. Like it's still kind of neutral game, you know. So it's it's some combination of reacting and reading and stuff like that. But I would say that there are, like, a, like I will almost always do high laser dash in. And then I, I will, like, immediately kind of, like, you know, listen for the double jump and watch for the double jump. And then, because, like, the thing is, is, like, he can kind of mess with the drift on his double jump so that you can't really punish him. Like, you know, he'll, he'll short hop Nair into you, you laser, and he double jumps backwards. And he's kind of safe. Or he'll, like, double jump super forwards and, like, overshoot. And so it's it, you don't really want to do, like, the exact same thing out of the laser every time in terms of, like, exactly what you do. But you kind of want to start with laser dashing pretty much every time and then kind of react slash read slash, like... Like, sometimes there's positions where, like, you'll do, like, a laser and they're narrowing in, they get hit by the laser, and then you dash in and then they double jump like this... On like let's say FD, like let's say there's no platform here, they double jump forward again. And then you're here and you just dashed in, maybe you just turn around laser in place right here and you catch them out of the air here now and you're kind of resetting in this position. So it's not always that they double jump in place. It's kind of like a, still neutral, but you're in like a really advantaged position. But I think doing the laser and then immediately dashing in is, is probably like the general best case option that you should kind of do every time and then like adapt after that. Okay. The shielding under platforms thing, you gotta stop this. I don't know why you started doing this, but it's like the worst thing ever. Um, you can either, like, instead of shielding here, you have a couple options. So, like, let's say right here, you can do dash. So, okay, you have how many options here? Let's see. Um... I would say in terms of like, you have like three or four options here. So you have the couple defensive options and one is dash wave dash. Like if you just dash wave dash right here, you're kind of too far away for him to instant punish you. Um, you can do dash roll or just roll and try to get just far enough away that he has to like run off and then fall to hit you. And that takes a little too long. Um, or you can do dash full hop back air, like dash full hop back air as you yeah. go to top plat and kind of cover this. Or you can do dash short hop back air and kind of go to center here. But shielding is not a good option here. You're just gonna you're just gonna die pretty much every time. And it, so that's like because he's on the side plat that it's bad, or just you just wouldn't let that shield in general. Yeah, like, as a kind of, like, general Falco rule, you don't want to let people fall on you, like, directly onto you. And so, you don't really want this position where you're here, and he has, like, a million different falling mix-ups, where he can, like, yeah. shield drop in all these spots, he can short hop drop through, he can run off. He has so many mix-ups here, and it's like, if you just get off to the side of the platform... He now has no options, because he can't run off and hit you, and he can't short hop off without it being reactable. So you take it from a position where, like, he has a million options that all wreck you, to an option 
just over here instead, where he has literally no options that do anything to you. <laughs> and it's a pretty that's a pretty big difference. Hmm. Okay, let's see. And at zero, you you need to be like a laser fiend at zero. Not to the point where you lose the match every time or anything, but like I think the lasers are very, very good at low percent because it just opens up a lot more like combos, you know, the down air combos and all that stuff. It just doesn't really work at zero, even if you get like kind of an ideal one. Um, this is okay, what you did here. I'm not going to comment on it. It's definitely not the worst thing you've done, even though it's not necessarily like the perfect thing. It's fine. <clears throat> I kind of would have... Like, you were kind of in that exact spot where I would have <laughs> yeah. liked the, the, the back air and the air from before, but this is okay. Okay. Hey, this is that down air I'm talking about. Yeah. Where you hit him with this, and then he has to fall all the way to the ground. He doesn't really have a lot of good options. And you hit him out of his empty land lag. Super good option. Yeah, so, like, if you laser them and do that, and they just happen to double jump over... Then you're just well, <clears throat> yeah, there there are situations in which, like, if you do this, and then you move in here, and then they double jump, like, right here or something, and then they're here, and then you do this down here, that they can, like, stomp you out of this. That is definitely a thing. <laughs> so, but... On the other hand, if you dash in and you don't... Like, you're not going to be doing the down air every time. Like, yeah. the down air or the nair. And this is why I honestly prefer the running shine here, like, the majority of the time. Is because it's not punishable by any double jump shenanigans. Is that, like, yeah. So, this is just such a strong option for you. And he, like... You can kind of tell when you're playing a Falcon who likes to double jump a lot here. <laughs> and so yeah. you can kind of adjust to that by down airing a little bit less. Whereas if you're fighting a Falcon who kind of likes to get hit and get to the ground more, you're kind of going to want to go for this more. So it is technically punishable. And um, just as like a heads up, the running shine and stuff like that is technically kind of punishable because Falcon can SDI the laser up and do up air or nair or something like that. But like... Yeah. All that little extra secret counterplay is like Falco can do all that stuff too, and we just want to make sure we get the wins at like the basic level first. Yeah. So yeah, the down air is good. It is punishable, but it definitely one of the best options there. Let's see what happens here. Okay, I don't understand the dash back too much here. I cause even if he goes for a double jump. Like, on FD, maybe I can understand this, but if he double jumps here, like, the platform's kind of in the way anyway, so yeah, yeah, there's yeah. not really a reason to dash back there. Okay, good back air. I like that. And this is why you shoot the high lasers every time, <laughs> is this. Yeah. Because he did not intend to get over this laser. He nared before you ever lasered. And if you shot the high one, like, so he starts this nair before you ever like he's not reacting to your laser at all you yeah. know and so like if your laser is high here and it comes out right here and it hits him you know he's in that now he's in the danger, the danger zone again where like you know he has to worry about your stuff and like honestly at really low percents i kind of do also like stuff where i'll do like especially in these types of situations specifically Sometimes I'll do, like, high laser, full hop back air or something. Just because then I can get, like, him out of this range. Because even if I, like, shine him sometimes at zero, it's pretty difficult to get, like, a nice big combo. Okay. So, yeah, that's why you shoot the high lasers, though. Yeah. And, like, this back air, like, this exact back air that you're thinking of, you should just be high lasering here. Like, right here where you're like, I need to keep Falcon out. If you just did a, a reverse high laser right here, you'll keep him out successfully without risking yourself. Because he, can, he can't, he can like, bait out a laser and then whiff punish it. Whereas, like, if you do this back air, he can definitely bait it out and punish it. Yeah, so I think, like, 
before I would always try to like laser and get hit out of the startup and I started doing the back air as like an alternative to that but you're saying like if I just do a retreating high laser then... yeah so a lot of people have like an issue where they kind of do the wrong laser here so let me just show that really quick so so obviously here's like the laser height you kind of just do this notice how it hits him square on the head or slightly over his head like every time that's what you want um so then the, the thing is what people will do they'll do this laser oops sorry they'll do this laser they do the backflip laser and what that does is that's why you get that's why you're literally getting hit by falcon's nair and also you're doing a later laser and that's why you're getting hit so you'll go like and it's like yeah during this falcon can 100 percent get you and even if he doesn't get you right away a lot of times he'll just nair right over the laser and he'll get you anyway yeah. so what so you could so see what you want to do is you want to do this laser where instead of doing dash back then backflip laser you just do a back jump and then you shoot the laser like that and so even if i'm like right here he can't hit me out of this yeah. like if i do this i can show you uh ah, i don't need to show you an uncle punch right now but basically just like just do this laser yeah, yeah. he can oops and as long as you like laser comes out pretty fast so as long as you're like jumping and shooting the laser and retreating like he's not going to be able to hit you with that even if you do these kind of shorter ones but as long as they're high they're and they come out fast because that's the thing with the high laser is like you have to shoot it really fast like to shoot yeah. the highest one you're trying to shoot it like right as you're jumping kind of like a jc shine and then what that does is like it lets the laser come out quicker right so like that's the nice thing about the high laser high laser literally comes out faster than the low laser which is part of why it's so uh, good. When you're doing those, do you kind of like not worry about getting a fast fast fall just because it's because it seems um hard. well basically what you can do is you can fast fall right after the laser comes out because then you're not affecting the laser height. Yeah. Okay. So, so rather than like short hop laser where it's like short hop, laser fast fall. I'll do like short hop laser. Fast fall. Short up laser. Fast yeah. fall. Short up laser. Fast fall. Like, that's kind of like how it feels. Yeah, yeah. I, I get it. Yeah. Okay, so let me skip ahead a little bit. We get to the last stock. Someone in chat says, Do you mix in low laser versus Falcon ever? And yet, the only time I mix in low laser against Falcon is when he's getting really power shield heavy and I want to hit him with a low laser approaching high laser. But I'll only do that at like pretty significantly far range. And I'm not planning on the high laser. I'm not trying to do low laser approaching high laser into shine or anything like that. It's just to like gain some space. But even that, I'm not sure if that's the best option. So I don't really know. Okay. What would you do if they use like side B a lot under the lasers? So side B under lasers doesn't work if you're paying attention. That's just all it is. Like if you do a high laser and Falcon side bees at like the same time, you can just fast fall and shield before the side bee gets to you. Like pretty much every time. <laughs> side bee takes forever. It has that big startup and then he yeah. has to travel the whole distance and then he has to trigger the whole uppercut. And it's like in that time, you can 100% just shield. Like 99% of the time. So like Falcon's you can either shield or hit him. So, like, I think Raptor Boost is incredibly overrated by almost everyone in this matchup, and I think it's really bad against Falco overall. Because what happens to me, it feels like, like, let's say I kind of feel like shooting two high lasers in a row. I'll shoot the first one, and then, like, as I've already kind of decided to shoot the second one, that's when he starts it. So, like, I, I don't... Yeah, double <laughs> double high laser in a so the double high laser against Falcon loses utility a lot at close range. So the closer you are, the less good doing multiple lasers is 
the closer you are, the more you want to do like high laser threat and down air type stuff. You want to trick them into shielding and stuff like that. Um, okay. Because, like, yeah, basically at the range where if you high laser, high laser, and Falcon does take laser side B, like, that is only a very specific range that that'll hit. Like, side B only works pretty close. And so that just means you shot you shot a laser too close in. Um, okay, yeah. Because I, I think in the other game I sent you, I get hit by side B a lot. Okay, that's perfect. We'll take a look at that right after this game ends. Yeah. And I also notice I get hit by, like, stomps from the platform a lot, like, what pop ups stomp. Mm, okay, we can take a look at that. It might be, there's something to do, I'm already seeing, and I was about to mention it right now, you have, you're not, you're not, like, processing Falcon on the platform correctly. Yeah. <laughs> because, like, he's on the platform here, and you do this, and then you run off and shield, and it's like, it's gonna be, like, 40 frames before he ever gets to you, like... Like, okay, let's count, like, when you shield and when he actually, like, this hitbox is out for, like, the Nair that he cares about. So... I guess I'm, like, scared of runoff. But he can't run off and hit you. He has, like, a maximum range for the runoff right here. You just have to learn this range really well. And he's actually pretty scared of the runoff, honestly, because he'll just get, like, lasered or nared or something. The runoff doesn't feel super, super appealing to him unless you make it appealing. It's kind of like Marth runoff platform fair, except it's not quite as good as Marth runoff platform fair. Yeah. But it's like if you kind of outrange the runoff platform fair and you cover it with, like, high laser up tilts and stuff like that, Marth doesn't really want to ever do it. And that's kind of how it is with Falcon. But it's like, dude, the, the amount of time since you, between you shielding and Falcon actually getting to you is so huge. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 3, 3. It would hit you like 23 frames later, which is literally reactable, like by a huge margin. <laughs> so you just have to recognize that like for Falcon to get off the platform, if he can't run off and hit you, he has to short hop off. And his short hop off will take a bunch of time. Yeah. So you're talking about this, or like this type of thing? Oh. Well, first of all, you don't want to fight underneath this platform right here. This is not a good idea. Like this type of stuff. Remember we talked about that? Really want to avoid that. And then, yeah, right here... What did he catch you on? What did you even do? Oh, you just, you just went for, like, an up here. So this is just you fighting into the platform, so that makes sense why you got hit. So so you think, like, when he's on the side plat, I should just get away to the other side and try to... I mean, you can just kind of take center, like, it's, like, what's he going to do to you? Like, he can't hurt you. You're winning the game. A lot of times, if you kind of just dash dance, Falcon will have to shield. Like, he's not in a comfy spot here, you know? He can only really hit you if you give him something. You just have to be more down. Like, if you're like, man, this isn't really a position where I can comfortably hit Falcon. Like, that's okay. Like, it's not a problem. You don't have to keep trying to hit your opponent no matter where they are. Yeah. And here's an issue with the lasers. Again, this is why the high laser is so important. Because this should be the game-winning laser. But look. Look at yeah. the <laughs> Z-axis. It goes, it goes under the nair. And this is why... This height of laser is not good enough. I'm actually going to take a screenshot of that. It's freaking hilarious. Yeah. I think in my head, like, I'm trying to shoot them high, but I'm also trying to, like, do a, like, the frame perfect fastball, and I end up just, like, not shooting them high enough. Right. Yeah. The fastfall is just not nearly as important. Like, the exact yeah. timing of the fastball. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me you lose this game. <laughs> don't tell me you lose this game. <laughs> you also need to be careful with, like, shooting lasers for no reason when he's on the platform, like this one. Like, it's just not going to do anything, and it kind of puts you out of position for this nair. Yeah, Whereas, yeah. like, if you were kind of waiting and you didn't shoot this laser... 
like right here, if you didn't shoot it, you could be kind of getting ready to shoot a laser right here as he jumps off, and you could be like, pew, and then it would kind of hit him here, you know? Okay, yeah. So just be careful shooting too many lasers when the opponent's sitting on the top flat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's go. <laughs> <coughs> okay. <coughs> Good job. Thanks. <laughs> okay, let's check out the second Falcon game, if that's what you want to do. Sure. Okay. Yeah, these lasers too low, man. They're just these are like fox height lasers. Yeah. It's not. It's, it's just not. They're kind of useless against Falcon. Here's this. Okay, so here's the same problem recurring right now, which is he's on the side plat, and you just shoot a laser for no reason instead of reacting. Because remember, when he's when he's short hopping off the side plat, this is an easy reaction. It only hits you if you're just randomly pressing buttons for no reason and committing to things. Because this laser's not going to ever do anything, you know? Yeah. All it's doing is putting you in danger. Like, yeah, he might drop into the laser, and it'll hit him, and he'll double jump wave land to the platform. And then you'll laser again, and he'll downer you and hit you. So that's why it's like it just doesn't really serve too much of a purpose. And so you kind of want to so cut, cut it out. When they're on the side pot, I should just, like dash dance around yeah just kind of chill like like i mean what do you do against the other characters on the side plot do you try to hit everybody on the side plot like <laughs> honestly I, I i feel like i struggle against people on the side plot in like every match <laughs> yeah because like you the thing is is here's the thing so the person is going to the side plot and they're like haha it's hard for falco to hit me here right and that bothers you, and you're like, I need to go find a way to hit him. But the thing is, they can't hit you either. <laughs> like, it's a stalemate. It's They're not beating you just because you can't hit them. You yeah. know? Like, they also can't hit you. It is a two-player game. And, like, yeah, if you're... So, like, let's say you're losing, and all they're doing is hiding on the side plat, then, yeah, you might want to short, like... You might want to, what you can do is you can do some dash dancing here and kind of like maybe go to the other side plat and shoot a couple lasers and then come down and dash dance again. Like you kind of want to like slowly work them out of this entrenched position if you have to. But like when you're winning or it's even, there's just no reason at all to like feel stressed like dude they're just i can't hit them they're just destroying me and it's like no they're yeah. not like you're fine <laughs> like nothing has happened. And yeah, the same thing happens again. Like these, like stomp on the ground is reactable. Short hop stomping off of a platform should never be beating you, like ever. It's a horrible option. Yeah. So like the short hop's do... reactable and the stomp's reactable, and he's coming from above. What do you say? I guess like when you are reacting to it, are you trying to like? Dash dance and whiff punish it, or just shield it, or no. I mean, he, there's a few things you can shine. You can like shield and shine out a shield. Uh, if he nares, you can up tilt it. If um, a lot of times you can just like nair him out of his aerials, like you can like nair his nair from below. Uh, you can do a laser just like you would on him, like you know him short hopping from the ground and him short hopping from the platform. He kind of ends up in this same laserable area. So you can just kind of laser him coming off the platform, or sometimes I'm just in an uncomfortable spot, so I'll be like, like, let's say I'm here, like this, and like, let's say I'm in, let's say instead of here, I was here, and so I didn't react in time, and he's kind of coming down right on me, I'll just roll, and then when he lands, I'm already shooting another laser at him, and kind of playing the game again. I see. So, this down tilt is horrible against Falcon. Never, ever, ever do it. CC down tilt is, like, totally useless <laughs> against him. CC down tilt is just completely useless against all the characters that jump a lot. Which is, like, all the characters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then this one, like... This... The only reason this worked was because you did this back air that we already talked about was bad. 
Yeah. Because if you just laser here, like if you if you edge shot the laser at the same time you were gonna back here, this will not hit you, because you'll just yeah. fast fall and you'll be shielding like right now. Let's see. Side beats take so long. Like look at like when he starts his side beat. Oops. When he starts his side beat until the frame that it hits you. It's so many frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, six, and seven, eight, nine, twenty, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like twenty-eight frames or something. <laughs> and like yeah. this is at like a pretty close distance. Like you have a plenty of time to finish your lasers and you know shield. Lasers, lasers, lasers. What are you doing? There we go. Okay. Ooh, weird gentleman. Great laser down air there. I really like this, where he, like, he used his double jump. You caught him, and you know that you can just go in and hit him. Super good. See, at these percents, this back air is fine. Because you're like kind of reacting to him and you hit him and it's like even the weak hit is going to knock down and you kind of get a whole setup from it and the strong hit might send into an edge guard. Then it's good. But at like 0, 20% yeah. really not that good. Let's see. High lasers, man. <laughs> that is the bit, one of the biggest things. You're just, you're just shooting too many low lasers. And yeah, so these side Vs, these are just bad. I mean, if you were dash dancing instead of... You're kind of falling into a pace, I think, where you're kind of like jumping over and over. Like you kind of aren't really going any time between jumps. And a lot of those jumps aren't lasers. Like that one could have been a laser. And so like him starting this at this close of a range... 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Still 26 frames. And that was at a pretty close range before it hit you. So, like, unless you're doing an action that makes you committed for, like, that many frames, you're probably fine. So it's only it's mostly just because you keep doing these back airs. And like I said, the back airs are okay. But as a... Or and like, and this laser, I guess, is like... See, first of all, you want to do the back airs as a reaction to him already jumping. And you only yeah. want to do the lasers at a range where he can't get you with this which is why that retreating laser is so good so if right here you, you did this and then you immediately did dash jump away high laser and instead you were here when he's doing this you just get to shield it and punish him for free it's so nice and convenient that like yeah. literally his option just does not work and you get a free free punish those back airs, man. This is like not the thing you think it is. Like you, you're like, oh, oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. like I know about these back airs. This is like my secret ultimate back air that I use to win every situation. It's like it's garbage. Like, like stop it. Like it's it's okay to do this back air on reaction, but like, yeah. What so has think... like? It's just weird to me that like you've been shooting these lasers and kind of playing the matchup the whole time, and then now that he's at high percent. You're like, forget about lasers. It's all about short hop back here, you know? And it's like, what? Like, I'm just confused. Yeah, I think, like, uh, before, I used to always get clipped by Nair, and Nair would just beat things. And I found, like, oh, back air is, like, it just beats Nair every time. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it does, but you can do it on reaction. That's why, that's why it's, like, kind of important. Is like, there's a lot of spots where you don't need to just see, like, you just reacted. And especially because you're not doing the retreating one. That's, like, the weird part. Is, like, so first of all, he's just dash dancing. So you're just back airing when he's dash dancing. Let's say if he was waiting for a roll, which is really common. If he was dash dancing waiting for a roll and he sees this, it's a free kill. Second of all, you're not drifting away with the back air. That's why the back air is so good against Nair. Is because you you drift away from Falcon and you drag the back air hitbox behind you, but you always do this back air and then you drift in with it, which is this is like the back air that you do at zero, right? Where you want to drift yeah. in, tap him with this and hit it, but this is not the back air you want to do at one hundred and twenty six. Yeah. 
Okay, you clean up the kill. Oof. <laughs> yeah, you gotta stop these backers, man. I know, I know you can't, like, stop in the VOD. <laughs> but, like, I'm just watching, I'm like, ah, oh, the pain again! Like, no, like, he's just dead. How many dead. times do I have to tell you? Like, he's just, yeah, how many times do I have to tell, tell you this? And you're like, dude, it's one VOD. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm not trying to judge you for the fact that your VOD continues to do it, but I'm just like, dude, I hate this back air. Yeah, yeah. So then... This side B, it's like... The funny part is if you shot a high laser here, you could have shielded this side B and punished it. Yeah. That's why the, the high laser is so good. And this is why comboing Falcon at low percents is so scary. Because, well, I guess he's he's kind of frame positive here, but not too much. But still, because he jumped into it. But it's still just like, uh, scary. I don't really yeah. like comboing Falcon at low percent when he can kill you out of anything. These lasers are just freaking me out because they're so low. Like, they're all just like normal height lasers. Um... There's a there's a pressure I developed on Falcon Shield here where you do shine and then you do late shine, like a high shine, and then you do waveland behind him. And that's like the best pressure I think against Falcon. If you just do shine yeah. waveland here, this will get grabbed. He can like yeah. butt, butt grab you. I've been These baggers! <laughs> and you always do the one where you, like, fade in. Like, it's not it's not bad enough that you're doing this back air for no reason. You always drift at him, like, maybe? Like, oh! <laughs> like, no. See, okay, see, this is, the, this is the thing. So, like, this back air, worthless, right? Because it doesn't do anything. It's not on a reaction, anything. But then, right here, when you're kind of on the ground, and he jumps in with this nair... This is where you do the back air. <laughs> like, if you just short hop back air in place right here, it'll hit him, it'll knock him down, you get a tech chase, everything is good. So this is where you want to react and then just do your short hop back air. Yeah. Yeah, like that. This is this is where that back air is good. And I think you're looking for this too often without it being a reaction. Yeah. Actually, I... this one might have been a read on your part, and it might just look no, good. I, I don't think... It... Any of them are reactions. Okay, <laughs> yeah, they should generally be reactions, and that's why I only really do them at, like, a pretty far range. Like, when there's, like, enough space that I can really see him coming and react. Okay, and so when there isn't enough space, you do retreating high laser. Yes, exactly. And it's completely safe every time, forever. There's nothing he can do about it. <laughs> Sorry. This is just so funny. This is just the essence of melee. It's just like Falco air dodges like this, misses <laughs> and kills him. Like, wow. Melee is a ridiculous game. Okay. And so that, that stomp is just like me being too. trying to hit him on the platform. Oh, like where you get stomped right here? Yeah, I mean, okay, so this is there. It's because you didn't account for him possibly short hopping. So yeah, you were just like, like you were just, you just didn't have time. Like that was it. Like this is an even position, you know, he, like yeah. him, him teching is not really super relevant here. So like, if this was the position normally, you would never try to shine Waveland here because he'll just get stomped, and that's exactly what happens. So it just becomes like a very standard position after the, the tech happens. There's these stinking back ears. <laughs> There's so one I, thing you should learn is not to keep spamming this. Yeah. So I, I have one more question about this matchup. Yeah. Um, so about like when they do gentlemen a lot, um, I feel like some Falcons I play and I just get hit by it over and over. Like they'll do like aerial on your shield into gentlemen? Yeah, or even just like aerial and then I kind of dash dance outside and try to jump in after and then they gentlemen kind of... Oh, uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> okay, 
answers. There's a couple answers. So, against gentlemen on your shield, or like at very close range, you know, like when you're right on top of him and he starts gentlemaning. Yeah. Falco actually does have a guaranteed counter to that, even though it's hard. And what you what you should do is as soon as he starts gentlemaning, immediately jump and then start mashing shine and, and holding down. Yeah. Because you'll just be able to ASDI your jump squat is five frames, he'll catch you he'll catch your jump squat with a jab, and then um you can just uh, like ASDI down shine him, and that'll just hit every time. Like Falcon Gentleman at super close range, like kneeing your shield and gentlemaning, literally doesn't work, and you can just shine him. Especially if you kind of like jump and hold forward on the first one and then just shine. It's something that'll happen a lot. You kind of have to practice yeah. it, but it's really good. Fox can do it too. Um, so, so okay, I and and then really quick to go into the second question you've mentioned, which is when they whiff an aerial and then they gentleman. Or like they don't they don't no one no one whiffs an aerial into gentleman they whiff an aerial into jab right yeah uh because like you can't really gentleman on open air anyway it's, so that's what you're talking about right like they yeah. they they they, they nair and then you short hop in and they like jab you before you do anything yeah, yeah um that so first of all that jab is actually good <laughs> like that jab <laughs> they do is just good um. Yeah, okay. The downside of it is it pins Falcon in place, and it's not super consistent. So there's like a lot of spots where Falcon will try to jab you, and it'll like trade with your dare or your nair or something, and he just kind of puts him in a bad spot. Like when you play from the Falcon side, you're not like Falco's gonna short hop down air at me, but I'll just easily block it with my jab one. You know, like that's the jab yeah. is super tiny. It's not really what he's thinking. It's more when he'll he'll lands like he'll land within like dash grab range of you, like you you kind of want to dash grab him or something, and then he can kind of stuff your dash jump squat or your dash in with the jab, and in that case, yes, it is just a mix up. Um, if you read the jab and you get a laser out, you have a really nice laser position, or you can just change the timing on the down air like dash back dash in down air or something like that or dash back dash in laser um even yeah. if he hits you with the jab he doesn't get a combo out of it like the jab will interrupt you but as long as you're ready for it you can just move out of the way so like ultimately if you think about the expected value of it it's like this jab can sometimes stop falco from coming in which is good but then also sometimes i get hit out of it and a lot of times, even when I stop Falco from coming in, I don't really get anything out of it. And so there's a, a lot of spots where, like, it's kind of just better for him to dash back because it keeps him safe from everything. And if you aerial in, he can still get a punish. Like, dash back still has potential punishes on, like, aerial in and stuff like that. So the jab is, like, it is good, but it's very... It's like, I still don't think there's a lot of cases where it's the best option, and a lot of times you can kind of force your way through it, and even if you can't force your way through it, it's just a jab, it's not really going to hit you. The only thing, the only time it's kind of, like, like let's say Falcon whiffs in there in front of you, and you try to jump at him, and he jabs you, and then you drift away, and then you, you're retreating laser, and it like resets, you shouldn't be like, Gah! like, why didn't I get the punish on the aerial? It's just kind of like a thing he has, you know? It's yeah. it's like the equivalent of um, it's it's pretty similar to Falco whiffing a down air, and then doing turnaround up tilt. It's like, well, it's okay, you know. Like sometimes you'll catch people trying to dash in on you, but it like ultimately it has lag. It kind of makes you stick in place. Sometimes the yeah. moves will trade or their move will beat you, and it just doesn't feel super good. And that's kind of the equivalent of Falcon's jab. Yeah, because I, I think the problem I'm probably having is that I don't, I'm not ready and DIing away, and I just get, like, he actually gets a reward. And... Yeah, like you're holding in and he'll get, like, jab grab or something. Yeah. It's Yeah, it's just not a thing. You just have to be ready. As long okay. as you're ready, it's just not really, like, a thing. Um, 
That, but that's what I'm saying is like, yeah, yeah, he can jab you, and there are cases in which you won't be ready and he'll get jab grab. But ultimately, if you're playing all the situations right, that jab grab will work less. It'll create a positive value for Falcon less often than it'll create a positive value for you. Yeah. Yo, Mech, thank you for the raid. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I think we we probably don't need to go through the rest of this game because it'll probably just be the same mm -hmm. stuff. Okay, yeah, we have... Um, Five minutes. So what do you want to do in the last five minutes? Uh, so yeah, I'm guessing it's not enough time to look at the Sheik. We could games. we can do it for five minutes if you want. <laughs> um, it's up to yeah, you. Maybe I'll just ask a couple of more general questions. Okay, that works too. Um, so first, I guess I, I guess there's this notion of like people being like fast or not. And what do you mean by fast? I, I guess it's just like a term that people throw around a lot, and I was just wondering, like, what that really means, and if there's a way to like get faster that is different from just improving. Hmm. Okay. The most important way to be fast in this game is to input things right after the other thing ends. That's kind of the definition of speed in this game. Is like, yeah. d are you dashing out of all your moves on the exact frame they end? And you have a two-frame window to dash out of a, out of lag, so it's very consistent that you can hit it. And then you have like, can you, dude? I super blanked. I read a message in chat. What was, where was I? You said uh, like you can dash after something yeah things. you you can dash immediately after a move sometimes you want to do a move after your move like for example yeah. like let's say you do a down air can you shine within the first frame or two every single time you know yeah so like that is super important for like general speed is just being able to act out of things kind of immediately and when I watch sort of like slower players, there's a lot of like laser, and then they kind of like yeah. wait for a few frames, and then they'll like dash back laser, and they'll wait for a yeah. few frames. And it's you kind of just have to like keep it fluid and stay moving. And it's really difficult to use all of your frames for relevant actions, which is why a lot of times people will kind of like wait for a second. But you need the waiting to be intentional and not just a product of like, well, I feel like I'm moving fast, but in reality, I'm, you know, wasting a ton of frames. And I, I did a lesson with somebody a few days ago who was like that, where like, basically after every aerial, they would wait like five frames or something to move. And it's like, yeah, you're just, your character drops like three spots on the tier list, you know? Yeah. By being that slow. Um, yeah, I'd say that's like the main definition of it. Definitely don't worry about the public perception of speed because that's kind of irrelevant. Most of the time, the, sadly, the public perception of speed is how often do you double waveland? <laughs> like if you waveland off the tip of a platform and then you fast fall and you waveland again, every random scrub will be like dude the guy is he's he's lightning like he's the <laughs> fastest player i've ever seen in my life Did you see that double waveland or like edge cancel into fast fall into waveland you know and it's just like it, it it's pretty yeah. irrelevant or like people will just yeah they'll do like shine 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 really fast and it's like okay like great like it's good that you can <laughs> but it doesn't like it's not yeah. really like a super relevant form of speed to just do to just do things for the sake of it you just try to make it so that every move you do is as soon as possible but also relevant because yeah. like even if you have nothing you want to do during these certain frames a lot of times it's better to like dash or do some form of movement or just be pressing something rather than doing nothing because you're kind of giving up like technically if you think of this as like a turn-based game you know, and each frame is a turn, and yeah. cer and like you want to make sure you use every turn, basically, yeah. as as much as you can. Okay, that makes sense. 
Okay, last question. Anything else? Sure. Um, trying to decide. So let's say, how, how much as a player do you think someone should focus on developing their kind of base game plan versus observing and adapting to the opponent? Like, do you think... 99% your own game plan. <laughs> Okay. Like night like <laughs> like I would say basically you should not adjust it unless it's like sometimes people just give you things for free where like there's certain foxes as Falco where if I hit down and shine, down and shine on on F D and I forward smash, they will DI away every time. <coughs> Lucky. <coughs> but um <laughs> some people just hold out every time on certain combos or like you know some people always hold in on the shine so you can shine up be off the top like every time you know and so i will adjust to those things where it's like wow if you're gonna do this same di every time <laughs> i'll kill you for it every time you know that's fine but like other than that i am not adjusting to my opponent like i'm playing against their character and they are making like, I'm like, okay, choose A, B, or C. And they're like, B. And I'm like, okay, choose A, B, or C. And they're like, A. And I'm not, like, interesting. So they're like a B into A kind of person. You know, like, I'm just like, okay, they chose B, and then they chose A. Like, I know how to beat these things. And then if I'm playing somebody, and they're like, A, 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 B. A, 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 A. You know, I'm like, okay, okay. Like, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess you up for A, you know? But I'm not, like, I'm not, like, looking for their patterns from the from the outset. Uh, I think that, like, when you play... Once you reach a higher level, or when you're trying to be, like, an assassin, basically when you have a target player, and you're like, I will destroy this player at all costs, you know? Then, like, then what you're gonna do is you're going to watch their VODs, and you're going to write down all their habits, and you're going to write down how to beat all those habits, and then you can kind of play that game plan. But you're not, like, going in with a game plan and then, like, massively adjusting it. That's just never how it works. Yeah. And especially okay. at the level you're at. Like, 99 plus percent pure game plan. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. That's pretty much what I thought, too. Okay. But uh, awesome! It was a fun lesson. It was good talking again. Yeah. I'll it's be good because I I noticed there wasn't any like Falco versus Falcon on your YouTube. So. <laughs> oh really? That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, I guess I guess you're right. I I've thought about the matchup a lot, but haven't. It's probably because most Fal most Falcos just you know down here up tilt forward smash or something and think they're good at the matchup. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, most... I noticed. I noticed my like slippy stats like. I have a high win rate against Falcon, but I always <laughs> feel like I'm bad at the match. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, at the at in it, looking at these videos, you are, but at the same time, I'm not surprised at all that you have a high win rate on Falcon because you know, Falco Falcon, you just kind of hit him. But yeah. um, all right, I uh, I will be uploading this lesson pretty much right after the stream. Sounds good. So and I'll send you the link for it and everything like that. Um, not sure. Do you already have my Venmo? Do you need me to resend it? Oh, you already you donated to the stream. That's right. Okay, yeah. awesome. Okay, great. I will talk to you later then. Yeah. Have a good one, man. Thank Peace. You.